my thesis about the shift that we're seeing and, and, and the reason I'm willing to put my head on the block and say that it's something more fundamental than just sort of, you know, losing moral authority is because we've seen structural shifts mm -hmm. in South African demographics, voting patterns, etc. So just one example of that is urbanization. Um, I think today 65% of South Africans live in cities. In 94, it was still less than 50%. So even if you had exactly the same moral legitimacy that the ANC had in 94, which clearly it doesn't have today, um, the, we, we, we know the evidence is that urban voters are far more interested in things like education, like corruption, like sort of practical service delivery issues than only, you know, a narrative. And I think just that fact alone of urbanization really does change the game. It, it, it suggests to me that voters, we, we have a voting pool that's far more critical as middle class urban voters tend to be. And the middle class is the other big factor here. I know it takes a lot of um, flack, you know, it's hard to measure, etc. But the, I think it's fair to say that South Africa has a much bigger black middle class today than it had in 1994, uh, potentially bigger than sort of the white and other middle classes today. And from evidence that we have all around the world, we know that those voters are more critical. We know that those voters care more about sort of looking to the future than just mm. daily, day-to-day -day issues. So things like the life is the many scandal, you know, it, it evokes a sense among middle-class voters about, you know, oh, I need to go to the hospital at some point. Um, what's happening here? And, and, and I need to hold these people to account for that. So middle, the, the growth of the middle-class urbanization, I think, alone would already make me a bit nervous if I was the ANC. And we've seen it playing out in recent elections where people are, 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 are clearly noticing that there is an urban-rural divide in terms of, of ANC support. So um, I think that is a function of those two structural things that, that I mentioned now. Um, and, and, it, and, and to me, that's very strong evidence. You know, the, the ANC is becoming a rural party. Um, mm. It doesn't mean it's impossible to reverse that. But structurally, that is the tendency we've seen, uh, and in some ways that predates the Zuma era. It, it, and certainly the growth of the middle class, um, specifically the trouble that the party's been in in Gauteng, it's been on a downward trajectory for a long time. It's not a recent phenomenon that's got it to the 46% it got in 2016. So I just think taking all of that together, perhaps we have moved into sort of a new phase of politics where people are more critical, where there is a, a different way um, of measuring what it means to be legitimate. And I think so, a, another small factor like, you know, people in these massive urban centre in, in South Africa, four of our um, big cities now don't live under ANC governments. And in fact, the if you look at the share of the municipal budget, about the same share, so about 42% of the municipal budget today is controlled by coalition governments which exclude the ANC. It's that, and the, that's, that's equal to the share of municipal mm -hmm. budgets controlled by ANC governments with the DA having about 15% making up the rest. Um, so I don't think we can underestimate the significance of a voter in Gauteng, for example, going to the polls next year and saying, well, this coalition didn't bring back apartheid, you know, because that was a very, very real fear about having a DA government. Uh, and just simply having that disproven in the, in, the, in the two or three years leading up to the election, to me, also influences the way that people uh, look at it. So it, it creates a different kind of cycle. And I, if I put all these factors together, I think um, Ramaphosa certainly has a mountain to climb within the ANC. But I think we underestimate the mountain that there is to climb even outside when it comes to mm -hmm. next year's election.